Hi everybody! So, what I think I will be doing tonight in this video is doing a candles empties video for the summer. I didn't think of a name. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what it is. I'm just going to go through all the candles that I've kind of hoarded that I've finished already. I don't know why I hoard shit like that. It's... I'm on this weird kick right now. Like, I'm doing, like, my spring cleaning in the fall. Like, there was an incident with a cockroach the other night that really freaked me out and made me think, mm, I need to clean better. And, like, my house isn't a pigsty, okay? But I just felt very, like, grossed out that this thing was walking on the floor and just maybe I might have too much stuff on the floor and so I'm in the middle of cleaning a bunch of stuff um so I thought I would show y'all my candle empties from at least I want to say probably June either like the end of May or June something like that so pretty much the whole summer worth of candles um candle empties so I guess without Further ado, I'm just gonna grab a random one and kind of do like a review and tell you what, what, uh, what I thought about them and and if I would rebuy them and all that kind of stuff. Um, right off the bat, about 95% of these are Bath and Body Works. <laughs> um, so let's go. I'm just gonna grab a random one. Okay, Nantucket Sale, and this one's from Bath and Body Works. It does have a really cute lid on it, so I might consider keeping that lid. Um, I don't know what I'd do with it though, but it is really cute. Um, let's give it a snifferoo. Okay, yeah. This one was very cologne -y, like men's cologne, but not a very good men's cologne, I would say. There's certain colognes and perfumes that just like hit my nose wrong and just kind of make me go, ugh. And that's kind of how this one smells. And I knew that when I picked it up, but I kind of was like, oh, I want to give it a give it a try. Chances are I probably picked this one up at the semi-annual sale in June. I think that was June. Don't remember. It was, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's... I don't want to... To me, it kind of reminds me of, like, soured... Okay, here's what... Okay, it smells like a man who put on way too much cologne, and then, like, maybe, like, got milk thrown on him? I know that's, like, a really weird, like, analogy, but that's how it kind of hits me. It has just, like, too much cologne, and then, like, almost like a soured milk smell. I mean, more cologne than the milk, obviously, but it's just, would I rebuy it? Probably not. Probably not. Um, it was, you know, it's a cute, very cute label. It's got a cute little sailboat on it. It has a cute lid. I'm just, I like manly smells, but this is not one that I'm a fan of. Um, and let's see what the description says. It says, Sail away with a blend of ocean wash driftwood, sea air, and a hint of refreshing grapefruit. That's probably why I don't like it. I hate grapefruit smells. Like 90% of grapefruit smells to me, and any kind of grapefruit and any kind of melon. 90% of them smell like kind of some kind of mildewed. It's been sitting out and it's not good to eat anymore kind of smell. Um, that's probably why I'm thinking it smells soured. So, um, but heads up, I mean, just because I didn't like it doesn't mean you won't like it. So, there's that one. Hopefully, I don't make this video super, super long, but we'll see, because I like to babble. Um, here's another Bath & Body Works candle from the same collection. I don't remember the name of the collection. I wish they would put it on the bottom of the jar, like which collection this is from. Um... This is the beach grass. It's got a cute label on it again. This one, however, did not come with the adorable lid. I'm fairly certain that I also got this one during the semi-annual sale and might have just grabbed one without the right lid or maybe I 
somebody else put the wrong lid on it. See, okay, I love this one, but it's not strong enough. That's the thing. I love grass-scented candles. I love that grass scent. Not a lot of people like it. They're like, ooh, grass, whatever. To me, it smells like summer. It smells like my childhood. It smells great. I love it. My only gripe with this one is that it just wasn't strong enough. It just wasn't. It was very light. It was very hard to smell, even with the candle lit and burning about three feet away from my head. Couldn't hardly smell it unless I, like, hovered over it. Or it was, like, right on top of it. Yeah. It just... Good smell. It was really pretty lit, just not strong enough. That was my only thing. But it has a very good, earthy, clean grass smell. And maybe, maybe just like a tiny, the tiniest hint of like lime or something in there too. Let's see what it says. Uh, like a stroll on the dunes at sunrise. Dewy greens, palmetto grass, and sweet white freesia. I can never put my finger on freesia. I feel like they put freesia in everything. It, like half the Victoria's Secret's body sprays are like freesia and apple blossom and, and plum and this and that. Like all of them have some kind of mixture of that. Um, but would I buy it again? Yes and no. No based on the fact that it's just not strong enough. But yes, based on the fact that it's hard to find a good grass-scented candle. Not a lot of people like that smell for some reason. I love it. Okay, moving on. Uh, I definitely, definitely picked this one up at the semi-annual sale. It is the banana nutmeg bread pudding. See it there. Do you see how much the soot got on the glass. I don't know why. Some of the candles will do that, some of them won't. This one got real bad. Um, it, th which doesn't bother me. I don't really care. It kind of made it look a little cooler when it was burning. Um, this one is very strong and it smells exactly like banana pudding or banana bread or something. I have a second one of this and I thought that I would just be crazy about it, but honestly, I wasn't. I, I don't know what it was about this candle that even though it smelled great and it smelled awesome and I like bananas and I like banana pudding, it just didn't wow me. I don't know what it was. There wasn't... It's very basic in its sense. It smells like banana bread. Okay. But that's it. Like, I, I don't... And that's, that's the ridiculous part. Like, there isn't a lot of banana anything scented candles but for some reason this one is just kind of like ah. but it is good okay it is good but it's just not turning my head I don't know why there are there's a ton of girls that I know love love this candle like are obsessive about this candle I just can't I couldn't get into it I don't know but it is it is good it says it smells exactly like what it says it does um a scrumptious new spin on the traditional bread pudding recipe. Creamy banana, freshly grated nutmeg, and brown sugar are mixed into a sweet indulgence. In, ugh, sweet indulgence. Blah. It... It's good. I don't know. There's... It is a good candle, but... Oh, and I'll show you the lid, because the lid's pretty cute. See that? It's... I don't... Again, I don't know which... Um, series or whatever this is from. I do know that you can't really, you can't get this in the stores. It's not currently there. Um, I do believe it was from last year. But other than that, I don't really know any info on it because I mainly just got back into Bath and Body Works this year and realized the amazingness that is candles. Um, before that, I wasn't into the candles. I've never been a candle person before a couple months ago. I mean, I would have them every once in a while, burn them in my room, but not like... I'm not one... I wasn't one of those girls who's like, I come home after a hard day, and I take a bath, and I have to light all my candles. Like, that's not really me. Or that wasn't me. Now it kind of... Now I, I, I kind of have to have something. I'm either 
melting, you know, wax cubes or whatever in my wax burner, or I'm lighting a candle, you know. Um, so, anyway, but that's, that's my whole thing about the, I like things that smell good. I'm just on that binge right now, I guess. Um, and next one, which is actually one of the first Bath & Body Works candles I ever bought. It's one of the ones that is, you can only find online. As far as I know, I've never seen it in a store. Um, it is the Kitchen Spice Candle. Um, it's very nutmeggy. It almost has an eggnog scent to it. Um, I Like I said, I definitely get nutmeg. I definitely get maybe a little bit of vanilla, like vanilla extract smell. Not so much actual vanilla, like scent, but vanilla extract. It's different when you're baking to like what you're wearing. It smells slightly different, but it you'll get it, you know. It's very, it's hard to say. It's very like I just baked something, but there's no fruit whatsoever. Um, it's just all the like nutmeg, cinnamon, um, kind of a thing going on. It's good. Would I rebuy it? Maybe. Probably. Um, on sale, I would. Definitely. Um, it's just, it was one of those candles that I had for a long time and I just wouldn't reach for it all the time. Like, I just finished this, like, a couple days ago. But I've had it for months, I'm sure. <laughs> um, but it was just one of those candles where, like, it was kind of, it wasn't overpowering, but, like, you had to be in the mood to smell it. Because it was going to take over your whole world. Like, once you lit it. Like, your entire apartment, well, no, you live in a bakery now. Um, like, <laughs> that's, that's kind of how it is. But, like, not horrible. It's good. I would give it 7 out of 10, 6 out of 10. I don't know. Um... A, it says a comforting mixture of nutmeg, allspice, hazelnut, and caramel. Caramel and hazelnut. That was another one I completely forgot. Hazelnut and caramel. Yes, yes, yes. And like I said before, a little bit of the uh, eggnoggy kind of smell in there too. Um, okay, so this next one is not... It looks, it's gonna look, okay, it's gonna look weird because I have this one in my freezer because I'm trying to get the rest of the wax out so I can put it in my wax burner because that's how much I'm obsessed with this candle. But I got this one at Target, um, a few months ago and I'm kind of pissed I didn't get more because as you can see it was on clearance for five dollars and I'm kicking myself in the ass for not getting more. Um, the original price was ten. I was not gonna pay ten bucks for this. Um, Bath and Body Works, that's different versus, you know, other candles from other stores. I would be willing to spend, you know, like 12 bucks max on Bath and Body Works candles. I just don't see the point in spending over $20 for one fucking candle. Like, I just don't get that at all. <laughs> I, you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous to me. But anywho... It is bee green. This is a straight up grass candle. Like the beach grass candle, yeah, that's a grass candle, but this smells uh, like so much, not just grass, but like greenery and leaves and like you're running through like a forest and it, it just rained and you can smell that fresh aroma of, of leaves and grass and, and, and dandelions and all this stuff it's magical what was going on in this freaking jar and the fact that I burned it all and could not get a second one I'm still heartbroken and that was like three months ago and I'm still hoarding it I'm not throwing this one away until I can get the damn wax out I don't care um <laughs> there's is there a there's no description it was a Scented soy candle. This was 15.2 ounces, whereas the Bath and Body Works candles are 14.5 ounces. Oh, okay, yeah, quite a bit taller. Um, I guess they're about the same size. Round. No, maybe this one's a little uh, less round. This is a two wick candle versus the Bath and Body Works, which are three wicks. 
Um, but this thing, oh my god, I loved it. I loved it to death, Avi. Um, again, I wish I had bought another one. I'm so mad that I didn't. Okay, so moving on. Was not impressed with this one. Um, it is the bow ties in bourbon from Bath and Body Works. Again, do you see how much soot is in there? Um, I, I don't know why it, that affects some candles more than others. I don't know if it's wick placement or whatever. <sighs> okay, this was a cologne scent and it's actually pretty good, but the only thing was it was kind of smack you in the face a little bit. Like, it, it was it was too much. Just too much man. <laughs> like... But it is, it is a good manly scent. It's not like, um, the, uh, what was that one? S Nantucket Sale, where it was kind of, like, sour. This one is just straight up man, but not in, like, a flannel sense of man. Just overpowering, but good. I mean, would I, would I buy it if I could? I'm pretty sure that, you know, this one... I don't think you'll be seeing this one again until the next semi-annual sale. That's probably because they're going to be trying to get rid of it. Um, but I mean, you know, and then look at the adorable lid. Uh, what was this collection? Like, screen doors, something? I don't remember. It was all a part of the southern stuff. Um, would I rebuy it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If it was on sale. Um, it says, a blend of polished dark oak fresh bergamot, and a hint of bourbon spirits that's got all the elegance and charm of a southern gentleman. Okay, yeah. I don't get the bourbon, though. Like, I have some, like, wax melts that are called vanilla bourbon or something, and it is very apparent that there's bourbon in those. Like, the scent of, like, an old bar where you can smell like cigars and and wood and 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 you know reminds me of like plantation owners drinking you know bourbon and smoking cigars in like their parlor that's what it reminds me of this smells like my husband's deodorant <laughs> again not horrible but i don't smell any bourbon it just smells like Axe body spray. Not bad, but whatever. If if that's if you're looking for your candle to smell like some dude that's going to the club that put on way too much Axe body spray, then this is right up your alley. <laughs> if that's not what you're looking for, then don't get that candle. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is I got this one at the semi-annual sale, I got like three or four of them because they were only about four bucks or so on sale. And I was trying to get up to a certain amount so I could get, what was that, like you spend 40, you get like 10 off or something. And I was, at that point, I was just kind of getting candles to get candles. <laughs> like if it was on sale, I'll smell it later. Well, no, I smelled it then, but then I would be like, eh, yeah, sure, I'll take it. It's on sale. Why not? You know, um, I think I only ended up returning like one or two candles and it wasn't a big deal. But this one, I'm kind of wishing I had returned. This is your typical, it smells like a tree, Merry Christmas, here's a candle kind of thing. Um, that's what it smells like. But it smells like uh, any kind of woodsy, Christmassy kind of candle you can buy at Target or that you can buy at Walmart and they all smell like this. All of them smell the same. They're all exactly the same. Um, there was nothing special about this. The scent wasn't packing a punch. I mean it had that good woodsy smell and if that's your thing then go for it. I do like that smell but this was weak and it smelled dried out and it probably was because it's from Christmas and I bought it in June so it probably sat around for a while. Um, that probably explains why they had a table full of nothing but this candle with a huge sign that said 75% off on it. Um, nothing special whatsoever. If you like that kind of fur balsam smell and that's about it, just tree in a jar, then this is your candle. And I do believe 
Don't quote me on this, but I believe that they're coming back with this evergreen candle for Christmas this year. Um, so if that's up your alley, then go sniff it, maybe go buy it. But like I said, if the formula is exactly the same, it's nothing special. Might as well go to Walmart and get the same thing for $3. Um, it says, evokes the magic of tracking through fresh snow to find the perfect holiday tree. Fresh fir balsam in, ugh, infused with sparkling mint and white pine. I just smell the fir balsam. I don't get any mint. I don't know what pine it's supposed to smell like. I'm assuming it smells like some kind of wood, and that's what it smells like. Okay. Yes. <laughs> One of my favorites. Um... The cinnamon sugar donut, and as you can see, there was some stuff going on in there. Um, I once this one burned out. See, what I would like to do is—is is this it? No, that's not it. Where's it? There it is. I'm the mama. What my favorite thing to do was to burn both of these. I hope it's focusing. Um, was to burn both of these at the exact same time. It smelled amazing. So when this one started to burn out, but there's still a ton of wax left, which that's my huge pet peeve. I hate it when there's still like this much wax left, but the wicks are gone. So what the fuck do you do? Like, I'm not trying to perform like surgery on like glass. <laughs> they need to figure that out. Um, so what I did was I just dumped the rest of what was left in here wax wise into my uh, vanilla bean marshmallow candle and it still smelled pretty amazing. <laughs> um, I wish I, I have one more backup of this and I'm holding off on on burning it. Um, I do have to say one thing though, I am not a fan of Bath and Body Works uh, like cinnamon scented stuff that they have going on right now in the fall. Like everything smells like old potpourri and I am not a fan. But the cinnamon that they have going on in this candle is a win. They did such a great job, I hope to god that they bring this back in other collections in the future because we will buy it all. <laughs> like I love this candle so so much. It's just the right amount of, of cinnamon and sugar and amazingness. It's not too light. It's not too powerful. It won't make you sick. It's just perfect. I can't, I don't know how else to explain it. It's warm and it's comforting. And it kind of made me want to eat cake all the time, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> the description says freshly grated cinnamon, sparkling sugar crystals, meat, freshly baked cake donuts with a hint of vanilla bean extract in this delicious blend. Yes, yes, yes. Ugh, I can't describe, like, you can smell the sugar, you can smell the cinnamon, you can smell, like, cakey goodness. There's so many different flavors going on in this candle. It's amazing. Sorry. I don't know how they do it. Um, so I guess going back to this guy, Vanilla Bean Marshmallow, another one of my favorites for sure. It's, see now it's a little, uh, the scent, the original scent is a little jaded now because I added the cinnamon sugar, but Vanilla Bean Marshmallow is exactly what it says it is. Very vanilla-y, very marshmallow-y, very pure smelling as far as there's not a whole lot of different scents one on top of each other. It melds very well together. The vanilla and the marshmallow and it's just, it's good. Very, very plain but, not plain, okay, not plain's a bad word, simple. Very simple in its construction. There's, there's it's, it's not super strong, it's not light, it's just perfect. Um, you know, it, you walk into somebody's house and their house smells like this, it smells like maybe they just baked something or they made something really good and you just, you want to eat it. <laughs> but it's a candle, so I mean, it just, it smells so good. Um, 
Description says a comforting vanilla fragrance that evokes the sweetness of homemade marshmallow. Very plain, very simple, very perfect. Love it. Again, from an older, um, not older, but from another collection earlier this year. I'm hoping that they bring both of these back at some point. They were amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, one of my other favorites is Mango Dragon Fruit, and I think I'm going to try to maybe um, freeze this one too and try to get the wax out, because that pisses me off. That's quite a bit of wax, like, that's at least a couple wax melts right there worth of wax, and I, oh, it's so fragrant. <laughs> it's very Amazon, tropical. Fruity, maybe a little florally, but not super florally. More more fruity than anything. Mangoes for sure. I smell a little bit of pineapple. Hmm. I can't explain it. Just lots of lots of tropical fruit going on. And they all meld really well together. Um the label is cute, the color of the candle itself, the wax is cute, and I hate orange, but it, this isn't horrible to look at. Um, it says, rare and refreshing dragon fruit is mixed with the juicy mango to create the ultimate tropical fruit blend. And see, that's exactly it. And I don't know what dragon fruit smells like. I've never had dragon fruit, never tried it. Um, but if it smells like this, I want to try it. I want to eat the shit out of that. <laughs> This smells amazing. Um, again, if you love tropical, if you love fruity, definitely buy this. I hope to God. Like, I'm giving you recommendations on candles that aren't even around anymore. Ugh, smart. But, I mean, it's all, you know, Bath and Body Works. They bring back the same shit in a couple different collections. They just give it a new name. You figure it out. <laughs> um... Praline Pecan Cobbler. Very good. Very, very good. This is probably my favorite wallflower scent um, that I've tried so far. It was the first one I've ever tried, and I could not get over how good it made my house smell for, like, weeks. It was just so good. I loved it. Walk through my living room and just get a whiff of this great buttery, praline, sugary, donutty kind of a thing, and I loved it. And the candle, I hope I'm not getting set on myself, but the candle is just about the same. It's just a little bit stronger than the wallflower, but it's still very good. It has that fresh baked southern you know, like pecan pie, and you made it, and there's like a lot of butter involved, and like a lot of caramel, and a lot of like sugar, and it just smells so damn good. Um, I, would I buy this? Yes, yes, yes. I have so many wallflowers of it, and I am sure that I have at least one or two more of these stacked away in my little stash. Um, the description says, indulge in warm caramel cobbler with the sweet crunch of pecan nuts and sparkling cinnamon sugar. Yes, yes, yes. It smells amazing. If you love bakery scents, definitely look into this one. I am sure at some point they will be bringing it back because it was such a big hit. Um, I believe everyone loves this one. They've brought it back a couple different times and it's had different names, I believe. Um, so apparently the Praline Pecan Cobbler is a dead ringer for the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I have not tried the candle yet. I... Do I have that candle? Pumpkin? Pecan? Maybe I do. I don't remember. I bought a lot of candles. No, actually I did. I think I bought two or three of them maybe online. It all kind of blends them together after a while. Um, <laughs> I have candle problems apparently. I don't know. But so these two are supposed to be the exact same thing. So if you happen to see pumpkin pecan waffles, in candle form or in wallflower form, I definitely suggest picking that up because it smells amazing. If you love the bakery scents, if you love that kind of stuff, you will love that smell. So moving on. Okay, let's do... Okay, this one is not a Bath & Body Works candle. I got this one at Target. This is the 
Chesapeake Bay Candle brand and it is in the smell Teakwood. I got, here I will actually, is that all? I had three of these at one point, I think I already threw one away, but I had this one to begin with, which is the exact same thing as this one, just different sized um, containers. And as you can tell, this one I scraped out as much as I could to make wax melt out of because this one, for some reason, it came and it was layered in different colors, like a dark gray, a white, and like a medium gray or something. But the smell on this, the woodsiness of this, the a little bit of cologne, but just mainly the woodsy scent of this and just kind of this dark, dusk, kind of mannish scent. Oh my god, like I fell in love with it. <laughs> I can't remember the price on this one, I'm sorry, I want to say maybe $10, $12, somewhere in that bracket, and I want to say maybe this one was around the like $8 mark, um, again, Target, um, it smells so damn good, I can't say enough, this one is a little more fragrant than the cheaper one for some reason, I will say that, I was a tiny bit disappointed when I got the little smaller one, um, because it just wasn't as fragrant as this big boy right here. And this one, it was just amazing. Just, it made my whole living room just smell so warm and so welcoming and just so good. Um, I can't say enough good things about this candle. <laughs> it's just so strong and so fragrant. I'm definitely going to have to pick up some more, especially when it starts to get a little colder because this candle and like the cold air outside oh my god I can't even imagine that would be amazing um there's no description on these unfortunately but they are from the Chesapeake Bay Candle Company um they're so good I mean just just look at, look into it it smells really really good um Okay, moving on, my favorite candle, my probably number one candle, and I'm sure y'all know this, and this is the older label, um, Island Margarita. I love it. I love it so much. It's so good. It's very pretty, and I'm not even a huge fan of, um, like, green or anything. Um, it smells like... I can't even describe it. Like, it's called Island Margarita. It has a picture of a margarita on it. It doesn't smell like margarita to me. I do get maybe a hint of lime. I get a hint of, like, grassiness. And then there's a bunch of fruit, and I can't even place what fruit that is. Maybe mango? It smells tropical, and it's very clean and very pure smelling and very just... I, I don't know, I can't, I cannot describe why I love this candle so damn much. Um, it says, the intoxicating, yes, yes, the intoxicating scent of sunny mandarin, sweet mango, and juicy plum with a freshly salted rim. Okay, yeah, 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 I'm getting that. I'm definitely getting that. Especially now, now I'm getting it. And I want to say the description on the other one, though, is a lot more margarita um, e like, descripted on the bottom of the jar. There's a lot more, like, lime and sea salt and that kind of a thing, um, to the description. And it's the same exact smell, same exact candle, so I don't know why that is. 10 out of 10, definitely, definitely looking at getting this. It's on the website now for, like, half price. I'm still thinking about grabbing some more before they take it off before it goes on sale, like, and it's gone for good, um... I definitely want to get some more, for sure. Okay, so... Okay, another one of my favorites. The Home Sweet Caramel Comfort. If you love any kind of apple caramel kind of scent, definitely, definitely look into something that smells like this. The other closest smell that I have, or the other closest candle that I have to this scent is the Summer Boardwalk. These are both candles that were from earlier this year. I do not know if they will be bringing it back for like winter time or whatnot. I hope they do, but I love the 
caramel apple scent. Not a huge fan of just straight apple scents, but the caramel apple scent the Bath and Body Works does is amazing. Both of these candles have that. This one has a little more of a caramel apple and popcorn, buttered popcorn smell to it, whereas this one, straight up caramel apple nutmeg or something, I don't know. This one says comforting new blend of warm caramel, vanilla bean, juicy pear. That's what it is, pear. But I also get an apple scent. There's like caramel, apple, pear. Um, vanilla bean, not so much, but it's still amazing. Um, and Juicy Pear puts a soothing new spin on Home Sweet Home. This one, the Summer Boardwalk, says, Like memories of the best summer spent at the beach, caramel glazed popcorn, warm taffy apples, and salted sweet cream. Yeah, exactly everything to a T. That's how this one is described, and that's exactly how it smells. It smells like you're at a carnival and you're walking by all the food tents and that's what you smell. I mean, you know, minus like corn dogs and shit, but that's what that smells like. It smells freaking amazing. Okay, I have three and a half candles left. I say half because I have one of the jar ones. Okay, again, I hate the jars, but I got this one at the semi-annual sale and I think I paid like less than two dollars, which I'm okay with. That's how much this should cost. Do you see how small this is? Like, no. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, so, heirloom pumpkin. It's the first actual pumpkin scent that smells like pumpkin. All these pumpkin this, pumpkin that candles don't smell like pumpkin to me. They smell like something and then whatever else is mixed with it. Cinnamon and vanilla marshmallow. Cinnamon and brown sugar. I don't smell pumpkin, I'm just smelling cinnamon and all these candles. This one smells like pumpkin and cinnamon, so at least it's just those two smell smells, which I like. I hate the cinnamon um, that they have this year. This is from last year, but to me, this smells amazing, <laughs> and I wish I'd gotten more because when I went to the semi-annual sale the first day, they had a table full of these and the snap pea scented ones that smelled like grass. And I only bought one of those, and I only have two of these, and I should have bought a bag full. And I don't know why I didn't, because, no, actually I do know why I didn't. I didn't know anything about Bath & Body Works at that point. Nothing about the candles. I was just going in as a fan, and I got obsessed. This one, I'm also going to be freezing to try to get the rest of this wax out, because look at how much is left. And this thing's burned out? That's a buttload of wax left. I hate wasting. It smells so good. I would definitely have bought this one more of this one if I could have. Um, I do believe, I want to say that they still have this one because I have wallflowers that are heirloom pumpkin that I've gotten just a few weeks ago. So I want to say they would be, they should be coming out with this candle if they haven't already at this point. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm hoping they do. If they do come out with heirloom pumpkin again, I'm definitely, definitely getting the three wick. Um, if not, a few of that one. It's just so good. It's simple. It's good. It is what it is. There's no overdone scents. There's no... It smells like bakery. It smells like too much bad cinnamon. It smells like pumpkin and a little bit of cinnamon. And I like that. I like the simplicity to it. Um, the cute lid. And the description on this guy. The perfect autumn pumpkin. Celebrated in an invitingly warm blend of fresh pumpkin, creamy nutmeg, and brown, or rich brown sugar. Yeah, it's very basic and I like it. Um, okay, moving on. Salty caramel. This was also one of the first candles I bought. Not a huge fan. It, and I don't know why I thought I would like this. I, I haven't liked any salted caramel scents that have come out thus far. Not just from Bath & Body Works, but just in general. I think it smells like burnt caramel. I think it smells like burning in general. I don't like it. It's an okay candle scent. I would not buy it again just because I do not like the scent of burnt caramel. Um, I did not know that at the time that I bought this. I was still a noob to the smell, so screwed myself over. Whatever. 
it is what it is. It smells exactly like that. So if you like salted caramel, the whole kind of maybe you're okay with the burning smell, then you'll like this. I just, I can't get it again. I wouldn't buy it again. Um, it says sweet cream and caramel sprinkled with glazed pecans. Okay. It's very basic. Um, okay, another one that, this is also one of the first candles I bought. I bought four candles um, the first time I ever got candles. Um, this is one of them. Apple crumble. I've already ordered three more of these because they were on sale a couple weeks back. Um, I'm in love with this smell. It's apple and it's it's apple pie and it's it's nutmeg and it's cinnamon but good cinnamon and it's brown sugar and it's not just overkill on the apple smell there's just so many other smells on top of it and it's amazing and it works well together and it's it's amazing I can't describe it any perfect way this is like the perfect kitchen candle um, perfect anywhere candle actually I mean it's just a good scent it's good for fall. I feel like it would be great for springtime. It's good all year round. Probably really good for winter too. Um, would I buy this one? Yeah, definitely. I already have. Um, it says baked Granny Smith and Macintosh apples topped with vanilla crumble, cinnamon, and nutmeg. I didn't really smell any vanilla, but all the other stuff definitely. Okay, so what do I? I have one more candle left and then I'm wrapping this up because I know that this has gone on a long time. Um, my last one is Beach Cabana. Again, it has this really cute lid on it. I really like this one. I really wanted to like it. But my gripe with this whole collection is that they were not strong enough. They just were not. And the ones that were strong enough were way too strong. Like the uh, Nantucket Sale. Just back up with that shit. Okay, um... This one though, it's very cottony, it's very clean towels, you just washed a load of clothing and you used a bunch of like uh, downy or something, I don't know. Um, but very good and clean and, and just like you, it reminds me of like jumping onto your bed and having like fresh sheets and like big fluffy pillows around you and just jumping onto a giant fluffy bed. and, and having like your window open and like the sun coming in and just all those smells just getting together it's just such a clean good pure smell but not strong enough why wasn't it strong enough make it stronger um but it's good I would probably buy one more just to give it a try again because they do say sometimes some candles you know you can buy one candle and it's super strong you can buy it the same scent in another candle and it's not that strong so maybe I would try this one out again um, it says the air under a beach cabana is filled with fragrant sweet jasmine orange blossom and the hint of fluffy white towels I'm only getting the white towel part I do not know what jasmine or orange blossom smells like but this is good <sighs> just wish it was a little hint stronger so overall I for the most part, I like the candles that I bought and that I've tried. There's a handful out of them that I would consider buying again. Um, I do like to buy different ones just because I like to branch out. But the ones that I know that I love, I want to buy them again and again and again because they are so good and I can't stress it enough. Would I buy them if they weren't on sale? Probably not. Um, only if I had a ridiculously amazing coupon somehow, and Bath and Body Works doesn't always give out a ridiculously amazing coupon, so probably not. Um, I honestly can't wait for the next semi-annual sale. I'm hoping that I get a whole bunch of gift cards for Christmas so I can go and hop on the Bath and Body Works sales, but we'll see. Um, <laughs> birthday's coming up soon, maybe I'll just ask for that. Uh, <laughs> I just, I don't know, I'm thinking I want to do another candle collection um, and go over all the candles that I have, really show you all the ones that I have that I have not burned yet. Um, I think my collection's in the like 30 to 40 count um, for candles right now, so I have quite a bit. I have quite a bit that I've used. I didn't count these. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, tw
3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, about 20 candles, 19 or 20, I think I might have screwed up somewhere, um, just from the past couple months, I do like me some candles, um, it's just easy, you just light it and you just go off and do your thing, I mean, you don't leave the house with them lit, obvi, but it's nice, you can smell them all over the place, but anyway, if anybody has any questions or any any comments, concerns, anything like that, go ahead and just leave it down below. I will comment you back. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions of other videos you guys want to see or are interested in, please let me know. I'm completely wanting to know what I can do to, you know, uh, make my channel better. Even though it's just me mostly rambling, I hope that I'm entertaining at least at some point. Um, I hope that I'm informative enough. Um, you know, just, just, just let me know. Let me, let me know if there's anything I can do. <laughs> um, so I will, you know, uh, talk to you guys later. I hope everybody has a good night, and I will see you later. Bye!